Okay guys, this is going to be a quick video on the Pico 4 and the Neo 3 Link and regards to getting APKs into your headset without a computer. So normally you can just load APKs into the storage of the headset and just click them from here. It will discover them anywhere in the directory and just click to install. That's all good. But if you don't have a computer handy, um, there's two ways you can do this. So first of all, I'm going to bring up on the screen now a screen recording from my phone. So what I've got here is a APK from Dr. Beef himself of the new Quake Quest for Pico. And all I'm going to do on this is I'm going to copy the link that he's shared. So this is a direct download link to the APK. I'm going to go into the Pico VR mobile app on Google Play or iOS store. I go to my devices, find my Pico 4, it's all connected. And there's a really handy feature here if you don't know this. You can share a link into the headset. Now this can be YouTube videos, um, websites, whatever. In this case, it's going to be a download. So I'm going to just paste this in and click share. So you can see in the headset now, it's gone direct to this Google Drive website. So I haven't got to type out this really long address into the headset or have Discord set up on the headset itself. So all I need to do now is simply click download and wait for Google Drive to figure itself out. Google Drive is a bit silly sometimes. There we go. And download anyway. I think I trust Doc Dr. Beef enough that his file's not going to have any viruses. So let's get past the Google Drive nonsense here. This will start downloading. So I've already downloaded this. This is why it shows one in a bracket. This is just a duplicate copy, but I'm just doing this for this video. So that will go up into the download section up in the top right corner of the web browser. And you can see I've already downloaded it here. This will be in the file storage now, but for argument's sake, I can just sim simply open this and click install. Now that's installed, I can go back to my library. And if it doesn't show in this normal all list, it's because it's a side loaded application. So it might be an unknown. So this is the Quake Quest build that I've just downloaded. I've sent the link from my phone to the headset, clicked a few things in the headset without typing anything, and I'm able to simply start the game up and start playing okay so that's one way we can do this now the next way i'm going to do within the actual web browser itself so a good solution to getting apks is obviously side quest normal situation you'd need all debug tools you need to get your headset in dev mode all the rest of it for oculus you don't need to do that with the pico so i'm going to do this real time with you guys here i'm going to simply search for side quest Oh, it's come up already in the search history. SideQuest GitHub APK. And again, you could even just do this on your phone and send a link in. The first result on Google should be the releases. And if I click on this, V1.19 seems to be the latest. And you see there's an app release APK. So again, you could download this on your phone or just copy the link from your phone and use the phone um, feature. But I'm actually just going to click on this, click download. It goes up into the download section here and simply click open. Now I've messed around my headset quite a lot, but if you find that when you click open, it says allow um, unknown sources, go into that. Obviously it will guide you there. When you toggle the unknown sources section to go back, obviously once you've toggled it to OK, you click B on the controller and that go back within the screen and then you click done. So again, this is now set up, so I can go to all, and I now see side quest. Now the side quest situation, I won't explain how to, to go into this, but it's very simple. You're going to need a side quest account. I personally use my mobile phone to type in this link, and obviously you're going to need to sign into your side quest account um, on your mobile first so it knows what you're linking. And then you type in this code and it'll match up um, to the browser and this application. I don't know why they do it, it's a bit awkward now you don't really need to do this sort of stuff but it does tie it to your device and then once you're all paired up on your mobile phone simply close the application open it again and you'll be booted into sidequest and you see all your games so i'm going to do some movie magic here i'm going to set this up and then show you what the sidequest situation looks like and i'll continue from there okay so i've just linked up the app as you can see in the screen recording so if this doesn't automatically refresh, like I said, if you just close this, you just hover over, 
Oh. Give it a few minutes, or worst case, a few minutes. It should take a few seconds, realistically. But if it doesn't come up aut- automatically after you've linked, just close the app like this. Don't minimize, because minimize isn't going to actually close the application. Just close it with the X here, and then all of your stuff will come up. So we've now got SideQuest linked to this headset. I'm signing it to the right account. And while you don't have all the debug options, um, sort of forcing different resolutions and all the other goodies you can do over ABD, um, you do just have the store. So I'm going to install Quake Free for Pico. I'll just simply click on it. Do accept all for the cookies. And I know this is for um, Pico headsets because obviously Libos has done this quite a while ago for Neo Free Link. And I'm just simply going to click download app to sideload. Uh, download in the bottom corner here and if everything goes well this is what you're going to have maybe on your browser before like i said security reasons the device not allowed from unknown sources so you click settings you click allow from this source and i need to click b on the controller to go back and it brings you back to this window then i can click install and it says quest uh, quake free pico is installed successfully so i can go back to my library and that this is going to be in unknown again because this is a side quest app and you can see the quake free vr here so it's super simple to get this up and running um side quest has a bit of a mix here this list is a bit um a bit incomplete as in it's not giving you all of the quest 2 applications because a quest 2 application won't work on a pico um if you find i don't know which one's got the problem with these ones but if if you find that you click on an app here this is a good example so it said download app oculus if i download this now it's not actually going to launch in the pico because it's not made for the pico but it's showing within this list on sidequest so i think that's just um a website cleanup it needs to do um just to make it more clear which is compatible with pico obviously if it's got it in the title here you know it's going to work for pico and then the quake pico quake free pico um yeah it's a few little things they need to clean up but if you find that an application you download just gives you a black screen and a spinning circle it is most likely for the quest 2 and that apk won't work um, so that is a thing side quest just need to clean up but that's self-explanatory the other thing i want to show um if you're not interested in uh, the side quest stuff for whatever reason and you just want normal android applications so in my case i have several things that i've got my virtual server uh, virtual here server that i was showing the the steering wheel situation with um, I've got a few more, such as the PS2 emulator and stuff. I'm not going to scroll down because there's some stuff I can't actually show you here. Um, but this Aurora store is a um, like a Google Play alternative. So you obviously haven't got any Google Play services on your Pico headsets, but this Aurora store is much the same way to set up. Um, you would simply just do a normal Pico browser search for Aurora store. If I can spell correctly. Okay. And I'm not going to go to the F Droid site. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and go to the AuroraOSS.com. And then you've got different builds here. So again, I just stick to the normal Aurora store stable. Click download. It goes up into your download section here. And you simply click open and install. Now that's done, I can open the Aurora store. This is going to guide you for a new session for the first time, but I've already got the um, the cache all saved on this, so it's already done it. But I usually just do an anonymous account and a session per session. It, you don't need to make an account. You don't really, really need to sign into Google. You can just do this, but there is some stuff that's not going to work. So... The YouTube isn't going to work. Um, anything that requires Google Play services is not going to work. But your Xbox Game Pass beta, um, the PS streaming, Discord, all of this works as it would on your Android phone, just in this big virtual environment. So, again, same for games. Um, there is a few games you can actually play with these controllers acting as the touchscreen. You haven't got multi-touch in this situation. But, again, if you want Angry Birds for whatever reason, you can play that with this just as a normal touch pointer. And same with the swipe, like the Crash Bandicoot um, run game. I think they've got rid of that now. Um, or even Call of Duty. You can pair a Bluetooth controller and play Call of Duty mobile 
like this. Um, I'm not into too much of the Android games as such, but I don't know what exactly is going to work with the controller. But the best ones to use, I find, are just emulators. If you've got an emulation collection, you can download your um, emulator APKs from here. It just installs as a normal application, and then it will show up in your library. So that is just a very quick way, um, two ways to really get APKs or sideloading into the Pico without a computer. Super simple. I'm not needed to change any of the settings in my headset for dev mode or unlocking. I just use the website or use their app to send links in and you go from there. Super simple. Really cool that it's nice and open like this. And again, you can do it the old fashioned way of just dragging APKs into your headset. Go into your APK section here. It will find what's ever on the headset and you can install that way. So really cool. Really thankful for this. Um, and it's just nice to be able to share this because there's a lot more you can do with the Pico headsets and now they've actually fixed this window um, you can use all of your applications as you normally would so cheers guys hope that helps